Hello UBA, uh, it's uh, Tom Twist, your uh, commissioner. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of questions going on about uh, what we're doing uh, with our season tour uh, and all the other events that are happening. So uh, here I am to give you an update on uh, what's happening, uh, state of the uh, UBA address. Uh, firstly, I'd like to take the opportunity to uh, pass along any condolences of any team or any individual who's lost a loved one or uh, any of the team members uh, during this pandemic. Also, I'd like to send some uh, best wishes uh, for any speedy recovery for anyone uh, who's a team member as well or uh, any family member that's uh, currently fighting the deadly virus. Um, unfortunately, it's with regret that I announced that uh, we are canceling all of the events that are hosted by the UBA through the 2019-20 uh, season. That includes the season tour and the playoffs and any scheduled standalone events that we have through June of 2020. Uh, also, the World Championship Series is going to be postponed. Uh, that'll be postponed until we can resume our regular operations. So everyone, uh, wherever the standings are currently, you will uh, remain in position. Um, the team and individual rankings, those are going to be concluded for the 2019-20 season. Same as the World Championship Series, wherever you are uh, currently in the standings is where you're going to remain. Um, as you could imagine, this was a very difficult decision for the executive and administrative team. Um, we had a long conversation in regards to this um, to try to make a best decision. Uh, as we know, this, uh, this is a very, very unusual time. Uh, this is a very uh, difficult time for a lot of people. And as an organization, as a whole, we decided to uh, cease operation for the remainder of the season. Um, we understand that there's a good possibility that there are states that may reopen. Uh, there are um, businesses that may reopen. But um, overall, as a whole and as an organization, we have to think of everyone. Um, so we made this decision um, with a very heavy heart. Um, and we hope that uh, everyone understands that we uh, had the best interest in mind of everyone in the organization. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of questions about finances. So I'm going to try to uh, give a quick update on that. Um, and we'll see. Uh, at, at some point, um, there's going to be a uh, frequently asked questions section that's going to be placed uh, in the uh, on UBA page so that everyone um, can review that if they have any questions. Um, so I'll start with the season tour and the playoffs. So the season tour standings are going to remain as they are currently for all the districts. Uh, the prize funds will be prorated based on the way that those standings are currently. Uh, just to give a quick example, if in your district, your first place, uh, the prize fund that was voted for uh, that first place team gets 40% of the prize fund, then they receive 40% of the prize fund that's already been collected. All that in all that financial information is currently listed in uh, the financial uh, category on the uh, the president's page. All presidents should have access to all this at all times, um, so it shouldn't be an issue of where uh, where you should be able to find the uh, the prize fund money that's already been collected. Uh, and again, that goes right down the line. It'll be prorated for all positions, so second place, third place. And if um, any of those positions that are listed are an exact amount of money already voted on, then that that money will be prorated based on the amount of weeks that we've already participated, how are many tour stops. This could be different across the districts. Um, and some districts are bold, uh, different amount of matches, eight matches, seven matches. So that number will be based um, on that and prorated and you will receive all that money back. Um, the playoffs, all of the money at, at, during your tour stops that you put in, a certain amount of that money goes directly into the playoff prize fund. Uh, you don't pay, once you make the playoffs, you don't pay anything extra. So all the money that your team has placed into the playoff prize fund uh, will be returned to you 100%. Um, so that obviously could be different from each team to team and district to district based on uh, a district that might have buys, a district that might have a different amount of teams, a um, district that may have, met, have a different amount of tour stops as well. So you may have paid more money in or less money in depending on that. Um, the 
financial department is working on uh, making sure that all this information is available to you. Um, there should be a full breakdown listed. Um, it will be listed in the Dropbox if you have access to that. Um, it will be listed on the uh, UBA TV.TV page. Um, you can find that in the, all of your presidents and, or owners should be able to find that in the, uh, on their president's page. You should have all access to that. Um, so the next item will be the World Championship Series and rankings. Um, as I said before, the World Championship Series, whatever position you're currently in, that's where you will stand. Um, once play is officially resumed, which we're obviously not sure when that will occur, you will pick up whatever position you're currently in. Um, right now, there are no payouts scheduled for the World Championship Series until September when all the play resumes. Um, the rankings, the team and individual rankings, that is obviously going to be stopped at this time, and you will be paid out based on where you are on those positions. Um, all this financial information, again, listed on the UABATV.TV page. Uh, and if you have any other questions in regards to World Championship Series or your rankings after this is all paid out, you can email at financials at undergroundbowling.com. F-I-N-A-N-C-I-A-L-S at undergroundbowling.com. Please don't message people individually. Don't message uh, the administrative team. Don't send any messages to your district managers or your operational managers. Email the financial team at the financials email. They will answer your questions. Um, the other last item of note that we will have is our opt-out period. Uh, generally, the opt-out period has been from July 1st to July 7th. This year, we're going to be adjusting that period. We're going to start that period on June 1st. We are going to end it on June 28th at 11.59 p.m. Uh, that means that you, if you choose to opt out from your team, you may do that starting on June 1st. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is to allow anybody uh, the opportunity to get on their new team, uh, to get their jerseys, uh, to be prepared for what uh, the UBA will have in the future. Um, again, this is just, uh, this is just a, an opportunity for us to uh, start to plan for the future, uh, for whatever we're going to be doing. Um, if, if things change, things are changing constantly. Uh, we never know um, what we're going to be able to do. Uh, again, as I said, all the standalone events are canceled through June. So if things return to what we would consider somewhat normalcy uh, by July, we may try to put out uh, an event in July. Um, and Battle Bowl at this particular point is still considered to be on. Um, we have not made a full plan for a full schedule as of yet, um, but we do intend on uh, keeping Battle Bowl uh, on the dates that we had it scheduled, and um, you will see more information on that soon. Um, on behalf of myself, the executive team, uh, it is very important that we thank anybody who's related to the healthcare field uh, or any first responders out there that are on the front lines of this. Uh, we want to thank you very much. We want to thank you for everything you've done. Uh, we, we continue to move forward. Uh, we wait for our country to heal. Uh, the organization will continue to monitor all the situations that we have and related to this, and we'll keep you updated uh, accordingly and as fast and as quickly as we can. Uh, again, uh, please remain safe and please stay healthy. And uh, any other events or anything else that uh, we have planned or we're going to try to plan, we will update you uh, as soon as possible. Thank you very much.